Let's now check out the step sequencer. To access the sequencer, tap the chorus 2 and the manual button simultaneously. The bank and patch switches will light up. These will be the 16 steps on the sequencer. The manual button is blinking. To run the sequence, hit the manual button again. And now you hear the sequence. While the sequence is running, you can get out of the sequencer by tapping chorus 2 and the manual button again. We're in manual mode right now, but I can select a bank and then select a preset to change the sound. Pretty cool how you can run the sequencer and audition different sounds simultaneously. I'll go back to manual mode, go back to the sequencer, and tap the manual button to stop the sequence. We can see the 16 steps here and turn off individual steps by tapping the corresponding buttons. So this is how you add rests to a sequence. I'll turn them back on. Now if you hold down the chorus 2 button, you can change the tempo of the sequence with the pitch bend ribbon controller. The mod ribbon will control the overall gate time for all steps. So you can get that gated sound like that. While holding down the chorus 2 button, the 16 buttons here show the step sequencer presets. Let's load in a different one. Try another one. You'll notice this preset does not use all the 16 steps. I like this pattern. It can be a lot of fun tweaking parameters while the sequence is running. Cool. Now if you want to edit individual notes, you can just hold down a step and select the pitch with the pitch bend ribbon if you don't have the keyboard module. Or just use the keyboard module to select the pitch if you have one. Make sure you are holding down the step button in order to change that step's pitch. So hold down a step and play a note to assign it. Sounds a bit strange now because of the choice of notes here. I'll just change the notes for all steps. So again, just hold down a step and play a note to assign it to that step. You can even do this while the sequence is playing, but it might be a bit confusing to do that. So I'm sticking to the C minor scale here. Okay, let's see what I have. Pretty nice. We know how to adjust the overall gate time for all steps together, but if you hold down a step with the mod ribbon, you can change that step's gate time. There are a lot of controls here, but it gets pretty intuitive after a while. Of course, global gate time can be changed by holding down the chorus 2 and changing the mod ribbon parameter. Now let's say you want to save this pattern. Hold down the chorus 2 button. We are on pattern 1 right now. If I want to override that, I'll just tap and hold for about 2 seconds, let go and now it's saved. We can verify it's saved by loading another sequence. And going back to the first, we can see the new sequence is saved. Cool. Stick with me and in the next tutorial we will see more features of the step sequencer.